Okay, so I'm just going to place you here. There's going to be a bit of a shadow, or maybe if I move back, you'll see me better. Is that better? I am just going to go through everything that I think you need or as essentials when you're starting your product-based business. I've written it over here on my phone so that I don't forget anything. So I'm just going to get straight into it. The first thing, you have to have an idea, right? Think about what you want to start your business in and brainstorm, speak to other people, it's very important to speak to the right people because you will have a lot of people who will be against your idea or who will talk you out of idea and have you doing what they think is right for you, which might be right for you, but might also not be so right for you. So make sure that you have your idea, your idea is nailed down, you have it clear in your head, you can visualize it, and then you go to the process of trademarking. This doesn't have to be the first thing that you do. I think it's 150 or 175 in the UK to trademark your idea, your business, your name, whatever it is that you want to trademark. However, it is very important to do it. If you do not have the money to trademark it, I've heard this and I thought this is brilliant. Write your idea on a piece of paper, get an envelope, seal it in that envelope and then hold on. So you have an idea, you grab an envelope, you've written your idea on paper in detail, put it here, seal it, stamp, address it yourself and go and post it. Your idea should be dated, everything written inside in the letter that you have enclosed inside. This here, when you post it to yourself, is going to get a stamp. That stamp is going to be proof of your idea, the conception of your idea, roughly the dates and the times that that was done. Do not open it until, God forbid, anybody steals your idea and you have to go to court and prove that this was your idea first before it was anybody else's. But to make sure that you go back and trademark your idea properly as soon as you can, because that's the best way to protect yourself. Depending on what you're wanting to do, so I know more about cosmetics and beauty, you would need a, a cosmetic chemist who's going to formulate your products. Or you can do it yourself if you're a qualified cosmetic formulator. You can go for courses and actually learn to become a cosmetic formulator. I will list some schools that you can do this that are accredited and that have produced people who have become big names in the skincare business. Or you can find somebody who will create formulations for you. you they will be your formulations and you can then go ahead and sell them and make money off them. Do your research, this will take time. Most cosmetic um, chemists would uh, of course want, they charge quite a lot. I think you'd be needing at least about 5,000 pounds uh, let me know in the comments below if this is not right to start with because of course it's their time, it's their knowledge, it's it's everything and they also in, in high demand with uh, bigger companies so you have to make it worth their while. Choose which path you want to go when it comes to that. Um, I always think if you plan ahead you plan to win and if you don't plan ahead you plan to fail. Most people won't tell you about thinking about fulfillment centers, how you're going to fulfill fulfillment centers are when you get really busy so much so that you cannot just operate from your own house. You have to be having other people to help you. Do you have any, will you need any fulfillment centers to help you have this or are you going to go and have a whole, people find their own factories, some people find a warehouse where you will have to be doing everything from so you'll need to know that uh, another thing that you will uh, need to think about is your website are you going to use shopify are you going to use wix um this you can do by yourself this is where you can really save money and if you're not really good in creating websites you can just go over onto fiverr and fi get somebody who will create a website for you for very cheap like literally pennies another software website that you can use helping you create everything that you need would be Canva you will need to think about photography what kind of photography you're going to need the photography is everything because if you're an e-commerce brand product driven business people can't touch they can't feel the product so the picture will be doing the talking for you so that has to be really 
really high quality so that you can have the conversions that you want and i'm not talking about most people see these influencers who've had already already made following um sell projects that is very easy for them to sell projects but if you are not a, a social media influencer and you are just um an everyday person like you and me and you go online and you start selling things people don't trust you because they don't know you so they will need something much more solid as to why they should trust you and why they should buy from you so that's going to be um you having the best pictures possible giving them as much information of your on your website being showing that there's a customer service they can reach out to so make sure that you'll be prompt in replying um, images are on point everything looks professional enough for people to say you know what this person has put in a lot of work into this they must be serious and they must be authentic social media big big deal every business needs social media that's a story of its own and um, it's something that i'll have to do on its own but just make sure that your social media handles your emails your website all work together and it's the same name so i'll give you an example in the name that i chose my social media i didn't have nitai beauty i had to say miss thai beauty we are working on that to get nitai beauty on our social media but that's something that you have to think of i would say before you even think about anything else start thinking about having an email list start getting those emails putting them somewhere so that on launch date you can just release and go to the people that are already on your email list and those would be the first people to purchase from you again this is a whole story of its own how you would do a launch you have to start engaging on social media so people know you people trust you and then at the same time you're creating an email list so people when Ever you're ready to launch the product that you want to launch you are informing people you're getting ready you're hyping them you're giving them vip access for those early people signing up for the emails so those kind of things uh, get you to have people excited about your product and really wanting creating urgency for the project so people feel like oh if i don't sign up for this or if i don't go and do this i am missing out and the other basic things that you'll need are a computer you'll need to think about your packaging are you going to go eco-friendly that's a commitment because if you're telling people that i am going to be eco-friendly you have to be a person of your word so if you're going to be eco-friendly you have to go the whole nine yards this is not easy so really make that decision very carefully know that you are committing to something and some people are going to be coming and buying from you because they are supporting the fact that you are earth friendly so make sure that you're able to see it through if you do say we are an eco-friendly company you make sure that you can deliver on what you say so you need uh packaging let me just grab grab some packaging for you instant netai beauty we have this we got them made very simple but what i would say for us was i ordered this when we launched a couple of years ago and i ordered in the tens of thousands of them so um now i can give these sometimes to our um, wholesalers the people that buy from us wholesale and they sell to their own customers and um they are the ones that i've been using i'm going to change them because i think they're slightly thin i wanted them to be thicker to protect the products that i have we've never had anything broke returned because it's been oh we do did actually have smaller smaller bottles that were broken and had to be returned and we had to send them out so Think about all those things when you are thinking about the packaging that you are going to be sending your parcels through. If you want any ideas of where to create your own packaging, let me know and I will list it be below. The other thing that you have to think about is how you're going to package the product itself. Again, it's such a huge, it's such a huge topic of on its own. So I'll need to, to cover that on its own. Uh, you have also to think about the shipping companies that you're going to use uh, when you are. Um, starting to ship your products if you're a direct-to-consumer company you will need companies that are going to be involved to sending your products from you to your customer you need a printer and also you will also need to think about how you're going to maximize visibility because this is the really hard part and on top of that you need to register with company house in the uk it's very it's not a lot of money to register with company house and you will need a business account and a business email address 
make sure that these are professional and make sure that you never mix your business accounts with your personal accounts to keep things straightforward otherwise it will get really complicated if you have any questions about this particular uh, topic that I talked about today uh, let me know in the comments below or if you think I left anything below there's loads to cover like how do you market yourself that's a completely different story now I'm talking about marketing yourself when you are an, an individual you were not that significant on social media or you did not create that big presence on social media but you're just a startup an ordinary startup and how are you going to get money to fund this without taking money from the bank or you are not yet credible to venture capitalists or you're not you don't have a business idea that you can go to the angel investors or stuff like that with first because it's already been done so you need to fund it yourself what we call bootstrapping if you need to hear more about that let me know I am bootstrapping my own business what it gives me the authority to be able to be in front of you and speak to you about business is I am a small business owner and I am at a place where I think I am relatively successful in business. I am still a very small business, far from where we want to be, but we've been able to sustain a steady growth in the two years that we have been in business and I don't think we never made a loss and we started the business with less than £3,000 and we made that money back in a very um, quick time so if you want to hear more about that let me know in the comments below i hope you found this useful it's down below if you have anything else to share that you think is important and i missed out every tuesday i'm here so be there maybe next week it will probably be a vlog